Hello YouTube, Robert here, fishing at the Jordan River again with my daughter Yaz. Uh, we're just using the team catfish, sudden impact, and uh, we'll see if any channels are, are biting. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. It's, uh, it's going on 10.15 uh, a.m. and it's uh, daylight savings time, so happy daylight savings time to everyone. It, uh, the time change, I hate it. So, alright, so anyways, uh, yeah, we'll keep you informed if we catch any fish. Thanks. Water has gone up a lot, so I'm wondering if they're starting to open up the gate a little bit down at Utah Lake. got the whole place to ourselves today. We're supposed to reach the 60s today and it is about uh, 52 right now so I imagine the water temperature is really cold. So it might still be too cold for the cats but we're gonna give it a shot aren't we? You know, thinking back from last year, last season, I didn't catch my first fish of the 2013 se uh, season until uh, close to the end, uh, last couple of days of April. So it was like the end of April when I caught my first one in 2013. I'm hoping to catch my first one of 2014 today. Just gonna freshen up my bait a little bit. Most of the size bait I'm using, just putting just a little bit, just in case their appetite's not that big. Maybe get one just to nibble it because it's there. This is a challenge. Try to catch early spring catfish. I've never been successful at it. Um, of course, this is my second year going after nothing but cats, and uh, well, I'm going to be going after trout with my fly rod, but that's beside the point. But just getting a lot of flashbacks from last year, last fishing season. <sighs> my daughter's using my homemade fishing rod holder. That is made out of, I did a video on it, but uh, that is made out of a Charlie bar what you put on your patio door for extra security. I 
was just having a little chat with my daughter and that we might be transferring over to uh, to Willow Pond and see if we can catch last year's catfish in there um, I heard they just planted it for trout but there's got to still be a lot of cats left over from last year in there so I don't know, I'm still deciding whether or not I want to do that or not. So, yeah. Intermission. I love fishing the Jordan, about fishing the Jordan River, you know, on this parkway that you see right here. Because you get people jogging or riding their bikes, they'll stop by and they'll, they'll ask you, is there any fish in here? I think I'd be sitting here with my two poles in the water and fishing if there wasn't. <laughs> you know, of course I'm polite with them and I let them know, yeah, there's fish and I let them know what species it is. And then it's just, it, it's funny. You mention catfish to them and they just, they just don't know what to think about that. Can you eat them? Can, you know, are, are they good eating? Yeah, they're great eating. I wouldn't eat them out of here because this comes from Utah Lake. And last year, Utah Lake had a, a warning out for the channel cats uh, not to eat them because they had a, a high level of mercury in that body of water. And this comes from Utah Lake, so I'm not going to eat them. Still no bites, intermission. Yeah, so I've, uh, I definitely have made up my mind... We are going to head to the pond. I'm going to give it until 11. I just really want to see if I can get last year's cats. If, they're, if they'll bite. And are they still in there? Alright, so yeah. We'll keep you informed. Alright, YouTube. Yeah, so we're heading over to that pond right now. Uh, had to stop off at the Maverick, get ourselves some refreshments. I had to get me an apple pie. <laughs> so anyways, uh, this should only take us probably about 10 minutes to get there and then we'll get uh, set up and get out in the water and we'll see what happens. Alright, thanks. Alright YouTube, we're over here at the Willow Pond. A lot of people are fishing for trout. They just stock this place for trout, and a lot of people are catching trout. So, but we're going for last year's catfishing. I'm sure cats are still in here. So, how you doing, Yaz? All right. Big old rainbow trout was right here. Yeah, they just barely planted this on the fifth. That was really, uh, really windy. Hopefully, you guys can hear me all right.
last check for me. possibility. Next to me said that he was out here and, uh, yesterday. Caught two channels here yesterday, so my spirit is up. I relocated. I know I'm in the wind here, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right. But. Uh, located into this little bay place. This is where I was catching just right over there. But there's two guys over there in that spot so I just relocated to see if I can at least get into the area where I used to catch them. So that's one out in the water already. I'm working on getting this one set up. And boy the trout are just hitting really hard. I didn't bring anything for trout. I only got catfish set up with me today. Take this one out in the water and see what happens. Intermission. See, the last time they uh, stocked catfish in this pond was, I believe it was in October. Whoa! Whoa! There's a fish. Whoa! Boy, he hit hard. There's a fish. Yasmin's pull. Woo! Boy, he hit hard. Man. Nice channel. I, I turned the camera on just in time. Boy, he hit that on the go. I'm going to reel in mine and put a fresh bait because I did get a bite and uh, I don't know. Yeah, I was naked out there. He hit, he hit it and ran. Stand up, sweetie. It's a 
that he got off. Yeah, so we got that one one channel, so that's really good. I've already improved from last year. <laughs> Catching my first fish. Uh, the bites are not that fast, but they are biting. My daughter just loves nature. She is so infatuated with animals, it isn't funny. She found, I don't know if you can see that, but she found an egg right there. She actually found it right here, like on the rocks over there, but it uh, wasn't in a nest or anything. And she's so sensitive about animals and stuff that I had no choice but to let her take it home with me. I, I just can't stand to see my daughter cry, so. She gets really emotional when it comes to animals. She was almost in tears just telling me about how she found that egg abandoned. So. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we're gonna continue to fish. I mean, it's really nice and warm out here, but that wind, it's, it's really cold. That wind. Uh, we're only getting bites here and there. I mean, they're not like consistent or anything like that. Uh, so, intermission. Just got a nice, nice slam. Just waiting for him to do it again. Hit again. Took a taste of it and went. <laughs> check my bait after that bite. He's, he hit it hard. He buried the rod. He only did that one time. Yeah, these guys hit and steal the bait. This blue rod, one of my daughters using, just got slammed. Just a taste. Let's just wait until they're on the hook. My line went tight. Turned you on YouTube because my line has some movement in it. Hello YouTube Robert here. Alright, so we had a good time fishing today. Uh Yasmin ended up catching one. And she found that egg today. Like I said, that egg was abandoned, it was just sitting on the rocks. So um anyways, Jordan River is uh I, well, I'm sure that the Jordan River is just not 
hitting right now because it's still too early. But the fish is definitely biting here at Willow Pond. Um, it's really skimmish. I mean, it, they, they're biting really weird. They're, you can seriously tell they're not active. But uh, we did get bites today. We did get one landed. So I'm happy. Alright, thanks for watching YouTube. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to. Have a good one.